Okay. I think things are good. Welcome. Hello, hello, everybody. It's Friday. Uh, starting a little early today, but we are jumping into Slay the Spire mods, as per usual. Modifin Zero, thank you very much for the sub. I appreciate it. Um, today, I went ahead and did a little bit of restocking. Um, you know, we've got our mods that we've had around for a while. Um, ones we've even done. But then there's a couple that we've added. Um, that have uh, new mods. Uh, the Packmaster, I feel like, is one of these big ones. Uh, this was mentioned as a five-year anniversary for Mod the Spire, uh, and it has a bunch of uh, packs by a ton of different authors. Um, it has hats. You, get, you have a hat menu. Look at how many hats there are. We're going to have to do some hat unlocking um, for our, our little lad. Um, but that's not what we're here for today. Packs are, are a thing we'll check out at some point. We also added in... Uh, Unchained is not new. Um, Vagabond, I believe, is new. Give you perfect block re reflected. Um, I believe this is a duelist mod. Not to be confused with... Well... There's the duelist and then the duelist. And this is the duelist with a Y duelist. Not duelist with an I duelist. Um I don't I've never actually played Duelist, the or Duelist 2, which is out now. I I I'm not familiar with Duelist. So, I think I've seen Emily stream a bit of it, and Comment stream a bit of it. But yeah. Yeah, this seems like a fun one. But today... I saw this one and went, how did I miss you? So, this is today's friend, The Vacant. Um, a lost soul bound to an artifact looks to free itself from its curse. Find strength in emptiness. It says gain two void. Um, I don't know what that is. That doesn't seem to be void the cur the the status, not curse. Um, but we shall find out. Okay. <laughs> When your draw pile is empty, deal more damage and gain more block. Oh, so this is like strength, plus two strength decks when we have no deck, I believe. That's how I'm, I'm reading this. If we hit zero cards, we, we just have a plus two strength and a plus two decks. Strike. Defend, all right. Ricochet. If this card would be milled, oh boy, all right. All right, mill, sure. And Vigor is the, uh, your next attack deals plus X damage. That's from uh, Akabeko. Uh, Okay, this is like, okay, so we've got mill five, mill. Move with the amount of cards from the top of your draw pile to your discard pile. It's mill. I don't, I don't need to under, I don't need to, mill is mill. Gain a block for each card milled. Return one card. Move the top playable card from your discard pile to, oh no. Discard pile ordering real? And so, yeah, the idea is that Mill puts you to an empty deck because you you only reset the deck when you draw from it, not when you... So, 
So, like, I wonder, the two bits here are, like, playable. If I play this and spend my last energy, will it, like, force pick up Bash? Uh, 99 gold for a random rare relic. Yeah, that's probably it. Let's check the map. Okay, and we have like kind of this free lane here. A lot of events available. And then we, we kind of figure what we want to do here. Now let's take the random rare relic. Okay. Ancient curse. So if I play corporate, corporate. Okay, here's a question. How much block am I going to gain from this? Am I going to get the strength, the, the void power? Is it going to be plus two, plus zero, or plus 15? Nine, none of those. Interesting. It doesn't see that it's emptied the deck. Okay. I like Mill plus Ricochet. That's a fun way to play around the curse stuff. Alright, so now I have no deck, so we get plus two strength. Deal nine, gain four. Hollow. Hollow effects trigger if you are at or below 50 of your max health, or if you have two unique debuffs. Wait, what the hell? Wait, can I make Diablo 2 noises in this mod? I guess I'm a floating skull. Can I mine the rest of the... Create an orb slot, fill it with a gem, which loses size at the start of your turn. Emerald will draw one card, Opal will gain one. So this basically says, gain one, draw one on your next turn. Okay, I kind of want to set up with the mill plan, and this is like a way better strike, you know? Alright, we got some cash. Oop! Oh. <laughs> could maybe put more of your soul into oh shit <laughs> maybe maybe a little bit maybe that's good oh, 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 oh. Ah, okay okay that's enough power <laughs> All right, we might need to um, shift over here so that we don't die. I'm, I'm going deep into the, the into power, so Yes, power. 
Bling. More power. Okay. Hmm. Hmm. Wait a minute. Oh, there's no way I can get away with this, right? Let's go get killed. I'm going to be able to do better than that. on the lash out it's gonna have its moment it's just I need to be very careful with my HP Okay, we'll do 60 now with it, so we now we wanna play at it. Ricochet is when you mill this, pick it up. So it's a freebie we get to pick up. Okay. Game two anti fact. <laughs> what? <laughs> Creatures take more damage for each doom they have. Okay. God, anti fact. Here, here I am. I tried to go in on the mill thing, and clearly gems are what I should be doing. I'm gonna partake. All right. And more shoe. You want it? I'm eight. Uh, it starts at the bottom of your deck. Oh my god. <laughs> ora, 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 ora. It even has the hair. <laughs> this is one of the best cards in the world. All right, I'm gonna remove cards from the deck. You want it? Ora, ora! So if we're, oh, like, because we have void. So if we have the void power backing our threaten, it's real damage. I also get another fling. Basically, if I remove the strike and buy the fling, it's like I had two. Ora, ora, I have. 
have to buy the Aura Aura. Okay. Are we dead? Oh, shit. Here we go. Are you ready? <laughs> oh. <laughs> Okay. Ora, 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 ora. Jab, jab, jab. Ooh, this is dangerous because, like, it unsets your... your void. Still, I want ricochet cards. <laughs> None of us wants to see you go hollow. Alright. We should be able to beat Hexaghost with this now. I'm gonna believe in that. Because we have Duvu Doll. Oh, Juicy Bracelet went off. I probably don't want this many curses in my deck. Um, threaten, partake. I kind of want to lash out to be one, so it's, like, playable. I could have just chosen to die, you're not wrong. Um... I don't think I care about Partake. Timing could be a little better, but it's okay. Anyway... Okay, regret hits our temp HP. Jab, strike. Should have been the other way, but... I'm sorry. Hold on. <laughs> Thought sees, huh? I think I'm, I'm here for dig. All right, we're going to try to get out of this without, you know, healing. Like, Demron, thank you for the big sub. I appreciate it. We're, we're, we're a floating skull with a cup. All right. So if we can just aura aura, I think we win the fight, right? Cool. 
Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Okay, so. <laughs> the little shovel with the deck. Alright. I'm in. Easy. Freest fight in the world. <laughs> Okay. I'm really happy that not only are they doing the little, you know, the, the JoJo's bits, but like they're fitting on their theme, you know? This seems wild and I want to play it. Just turn one, mill everything. Essence of Bismuth. Which one was the Ace Pride card? I forgot the name. Was it the one in, on a... Uh, I'm taking from nothing here. I mean... Was it? Oh, yeah, yeah. Sorry, the, the, the flag on here. For some reason, I thought that was just done by pride, but I'm not on. I, I'll have to swap that over. Anyway, we, we gotta take it. Hmm. These would be good here. God, I wonder if those would be, like, good here. All right, um, we want a two fight. Calipers are unbreakable. Looks like we kind of have to take this sort of mediocre path. That's okay. Oh, I did the ordering wrong there because the jab goes in back. Okay. <laughs> yeah, I no longer have the death bell up. You know how many mods we've played and we've never seen this? Like, I, I, I do not have a memory of seeing a 0x on, on a card. Maybe we've seen it once. Oh, hold on. Okay. I think we're wearing the goblet. 
Yes, that's the same feeling I have now, Metas. I can't remember one, but, like, it's so, like, good of an idea. I'd, I'd be stunned if we hadn't. No, I drew where the goblet. Um, yeah, we can draw it, and that makes it worse. Um, I have regret still in this deck, huh? Yeah, that turn's just not great, because, like, we can't even... We don't have enough damage to do this, and I want to put up enough block to not take damage there, and... Alright, so now we can go jab, fling. Yeah, sometimes you do draw patches. So, one of the things about our deck is that we want it to be really small, but... Because of the setup we have of, like... Like, of, of our innate card. It's actually fine. If we have a bigger deck. Yeah, more jabs. I want, like, a block ricochet card that... I guess another block ricochet card. <laughs> jab, 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 jab. Ba ba ba! I'm gonna keep this weak potion for probably the boss of it. Oh. All right, so jab from nothing. Oh, drawing the jabs right now is going to be pretty bad. <laughs> Mine a Sapphire 4, which gives you Temperance, which is extra block. Let's take another Wear the Goblet. The more of those we have, the better, because on turn 1, because of Calipers, if we just have, like, 6 Wear the Goblets, we get to add, like, 50 block, right? not a playable, so... Anyway. Glad Lash Out is useful. I was worried it would be an early pick that would come back to haunt us, but it seems like a good enough card that I'm not going to worry too much about it. Um, they seriously just aren't taking the turn, huh?
weird. You Sometimes you get the, the like, you know, the 9x3 or whatever out of Gremlin Leader, but we've just had, like, nothing, nothing, nothing recruit nothing. Yeah, here's the 12x3, but the fight's over. Right? Right? <laughs> Frozen egg. That's cute. Gain an artifact, Topaz Frenzy. Wow, this is a cool one. Big damage. I, I want more Where are the Goblets, because that's what our deck is. But we're seeing some really cool different directions. Shroud is a really nifty buff. Well. I think I'm out of... Ricochet cards are going to be a little hard to pick up, because I'm going to get too many in deck at some point. Goblet, 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 nothing when we get the fourth goblet. Shame there's so many mods. Sometimes it'd be nice to replay a mod and try the other plans. I have a short list of like... So one of my plans is that when I finally hit the end of the mods, I want to A, I want to do a tier list stream of all the mods I've played and just tier list them. Um, and then I want to give return like ones to mods that like should get a return. But like... The there are so many mods it's hard to do that you know I don't think there is an end of the mods I added five more today and some of them are new you know so End of the mods and some scissors. <laughs> You're all right. By the time I hit the end, I won't remember the mods I played in the beginning. You're not wrong. Uh, I want from nothing. Get the upgrade because this is a really important. <laughs> One must imagine Slyo happy, right? Like that's that's how it works. When I run out of mods, we'll go to Tabletop Sim and start playing Slay the Spire board game mods. I don't want Bag of Prep, actually. That's worse. Um, because we get all the cards off of our flip, we don't want seven in our opener. more innate cards, yes. Someone already ported Marissa to the tabletop. <laughs> Someday Slayer 99 will finish the mods. Yeah, I, uh, but no, I, I I do want, there are a number of them I want to revisit because they were so fun. Early on when I did this, I did give certain mods double streams. Um, these were bits like, um, I think Hollow Knight got double stream. If I remember my mods right. Um, Uh, Hermit got double, um, things like that, but, like, 
More jabs. Herman got triple, that sounds right. I mean, Packmaster, the way Packmaster is set up, like, when I get to Packmaster, like, Packmaster has, like, 50 packs or something like that. Maybe not that many. So, like, it's going to need a long, a, 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 you know, a, a pretty wide stream. Hey, Blazing Blade, we're a, we're a floating skull. Whenever a card exhausts, gain one void, and we have... Oh, I can play it before from nothing. It's like a free, it'll be a freebie. Tangible. We mine gems and we uh, sometimes go hollow. Yeah, I'm going to embrace the void. That's an innate card and an innate card is good for us. Oh, hi. This is where I'm spending my wide weak potion. All right, so embrace the void from nothing. I'm really interested in the gem plan too. You're, you're like, I'm right there with you. It, it, this is just like how it ended up. Uh, play the strike. Jab, jab. Take the regret. Like, we've seen a number of, like, really cool-looking gem cards. I really like the one that was the Topaz Fury. Um, or the, you know, Diamond Was Unbreakable was a really good... Oh, here we go. Um, this is probably just fine. Love to Aura Aura Aura. But yeah, a lot of what we've seen is like this is really fun to this would be really fun to do more with. Oh, lash out kills. I don't want another lash out. Grave wave is cool. This is um This is an uppercut if you're hollow. Uh, hollow is under 50 health or double debuffed. And there are ways to do here, right here, like this debuffs you. Um, I'm going to just take the health, though. I want to start removing strikes and defends. Okay. Removal. Ooh. The next six cards you play that exhaust, draw two. Put it in your draw pile, two turns later. Buying two size two rubies so you get six vigor every turn. Back to the mines. Thirteen all damage. Huh. Oh, it's a this is a creeper face even too. That's really cute. We can copy Void Embrace. That would be a nice start. Um I think I want to start removing the, the generically bad cards in here. I could remove the curses, but, like, we sidestep their problems a lot of the time. Maybe regret, because regret kind of sucks. Like, nobody ever likes to see regret, but I like three strength. Yeah, I got a lot of gold because I, I took the 300 gold to get regret, and then I got another, like, uh, and then I have gold I idle right now. So we've been gaining gold pretty heavily. Um... Yeah, we can copy Void Embrace. That'd be another exhaust. I don't think I'm removing Regret. I think I want to keep it. I think I'm just removing Strike Defense. You want it? It's yours, my friend. Copy the Embrace the Void. And we'll grab the Happy Flower. That's good enough.
Yeah, like the red, red doesn't hurt because Death Bell also got the injury. That's not a bad idea either. I just like the idea of the from nothing getting. So now we're at eight void. Some more exhausting cards would probably be good with um our setup. Apply two reap. Two vuln two weak to everyone. That is a zero to um yeah, so or 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 a threaten here. Zero X five. And it upgrades to zero X seven. Everyone, all caps. So do I, how how do I feel about the Reaper's curse? The thing is, everyone being weak and vuln, like, is the same as, like. Yeah, you know what? It seems like a nifty card. Let's, let's grab the Reaper's Curse. Uh, I'll take the removal here. I'm removing the strikes because we, 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 we need more defense. We should upgrade the jabs. They're going to be the cards we're playing the most. All the jabs and the goblets should be upgraded as quickly as possible. They are our main damage source. I'm not going to play Threaten here. All the block. So the reap wears off. They get the reap too, though, for attacking me. But two health on an enemy is so much lower. Also, I don't care about being, you know, weakened and all that jazz, because, like, who cares? It's the same as. Oh, I gotta. Jab, jab, jab. It's really strong. 
We get this pet nip so quickly. Also, we're at 10 void now. All right, let's go jab, jab, dig. Go, go! 31 again. Jab, jab, dig. I knew I saved Threaten for a good time. Requiem! <laughs> of course. <laughs> so this is really nifty because this is a double-edged sword. Whenever you gain a buff or debuff, double. So like, if we go in on it, we end up getting double, um, you know, we get double debuffed. But we also get double buffed. The Reaper's Curse hits us for like five turns. Um, but if we get artifacts, we gain double artifact. Oh god, if we gain void, we gain double void. And yes, diamond is unbreakable, mines X diamonds, and diamonds are buffers. Um, Requiem! Alright, give me an energy relic, please. I don't think I can take this as good as it is. Um, because it would give up... I put my soul into the Brass Goblet. Unless this, like, gains four artifact because I put my soul into the Brass Goblet. Right? Like... I kind of wonder if this gets to keep the four... Otherwise, we have a Runic Dome or we have a Fusion Hammer. Those are both fine. Fusion Hammer would be, like, okay. I wouldn't be too big on it, but, like, we, we only have so many fires left in the game at Act 3. Do we care about artifacting? Um, only on, like, one or two cards. I don't really want... You're, you're probably writing that the Energy Relic's just better. I can play with a runic dome. Just assume every enemy's hitting you the worst. Okay, let's get this shop. And then, like, this line here.
Yeah, calipers are doing really hot stuff here. I mean, you know what they say about calipers and if they would be good here. Oh my god. Yeah, please, give me those. Embrace the void. That's key. What did you do to the slime? This is really cute, by the way. It's like a little worse dash, but you get a refund. I love more flings. Those are the strikes we've been. Though, I will always take this. Okay, assume 20 ish damage coming in. jab in this deck. We need a third for like my attacks to be a little better, I think. I'm gonna put the burn in my deck, huh? That's okay. We deal with that. Alright, so I'm taking like 12. 14, okay. Requiem isn't really doing anything in this matchup. Obviously, it sets up the... This card whips. What a cool design for a card. You only get it on the mill. Uh, this looks fine. I get the Reaper Blast and such. Void Embrace, Void Embrace, Reaper's Blast, from nothing. Yeah, it works with Return, too, so... Full healing because of the free uh, of the reaping. Man, Reaper's Curse isn't so bad. Everybody talks about this Reaper's Curse thing like it's this terrible lot, this worst thing in the world, but you know, I don't know, I'm not feeling too bad. Did I just get hit by the arrow?
I love that the magnet attack is I just chuck it. Huh. Do I need one more goblet right now? Right now, when I do the, the full mill, I'm generally... I have eight card slots in hand, which is... Right now, it's two jabs, three goblets. Um, the magnet. And the soul bash, okay. I think we're fine then. I'm sorry, normality would kill me too much. Like, more curses is actually kind of nifty because our opening salvo is so strong. But, like, normality is just too much. We're already pretty nice on cash. play an attack, not uh, when you deal damage, so it's fine. And here's the twin slam, then we're getting the four X5. It is King Crimson shit. Jab. This is a cool one, too. I think I want one more jab. from nothing. On an empty hand, we get eight cards. Jab, jab, jab. Let's 
Chip. 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 Brum bum bum. We got some blood. Chip, chip. Imagine this deck with Shuriken. Imagine this deck with Kunai. Imagine this deck with any of those. Just mind's eye those, you know? Do we consider taking Lash Out out? Lash Out's our third worst card, so probably not. I'm probably taking out... I don't actually know if Requiem's any good for us. It would be a lot better if we had one of those relics I was talking about. We're a skull today, and we're we're about milling all our cards. I'm just gonna. We'll just get this out of the way before I forget. Might have to like heal later or something. I don't know. It's not real. Oh, I drew the. That's very funny. Son of a bitch. Can't believe you found a way to play dredge, but yeah, that's what we're doing. We're just playing dredge here. All right, keep the goblets up. Yep. We actually took a hit there. Okay. We need to kill this or else it kills us. <laughs> Retrace. Trying here. It's a little awkward as is, but we're we're doing what we can. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Sense burner, that's nice. Uh, big threaten. This 
This actually does a lot to help the deck, I think. This gives us a constant mill source so we can keep our deck going after turn one. And it's guaranteed to draw be drawn. We need the shop. Alright. Spin the wheel. <laughs> Money! <laughs> $300 help. All right, give me the damn. Okay, all right. This is not kunai or shuriken, but it's close. How does it feel to be rich and dead? Alright, I feel like that's a good purchase. We can buy the egg, but we're so late, you know? Oh my god. <laughs> we shine the gems a little bit. So this one gives us is gives us temperance. Uh temperance is like vigor but for block. This card did not exhaust. I don't think I want more Ricochet cards at this point. I think I'm actually filled up on them, which sucks. That one's really nice. But I think we're on too many, on enough Ricochet cards where I need to kind of pull back. turn never ends. <laughs> I 
Whoa! What a neat upgrade! Okay. This card's like not very good until you upgrade it when it becomes like super fun. Cute. Um What am I I'm probably the problem is my upgrades are still reserved for like goblets and jabs. So I don't want to grab that and upgrade it. I'm just gonna We'll just keep taking health while we've got it. Ooh, second shop versus another elite. This should be a shop though. Oh no, I lost strike, thanks. I'm so sorry, giant head. This is so good. This Amethyst changed our deck from like really explosive turn one and like mm, mediocre later turns to like wild nonsense. I love also this has yo. Oh, this has some of the best like mill of like looking effects. It's very cool. Like all the effects that this has are like super great. I'll take a dig that's like an upgraded defend. Alright, we want to upgrade another jab. Alright, time eater. I have threatened in my opener, huh? These cards are fine. In the words of uh, my good friend. this because of that, though. Terrifying. My next turn's quite bad. Luckily, we have a lot of block. This, that, hmm. That could have been better. Whatever, let's just polish up some gems. We get a lot of vigor and a lot of, you know. There it is. Chip, 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 chip. All right, 106 block. Bring it. Hey, does anybody know if calipers would be good here? Or, uh...
Look at how many gemstones I get. <laughs> oh my god, I gave the Reaper's curse. No! Oh, here we go. <laughs> Again, our, our abacus going off. Oh God, Requiem. I think it, I think you're I think it is time for Requiem. Because it's thinking how many buffs we're gonna get. Oh god oh my god! Requiem! This is the power of the stand! The arrow! Oh, but I get minus two card draw. <laughs> Wait. Did I just cheat the time cops? Oh my God, I, I cannot believe the power of our stand. It's unreal. <laughs> I mean, if any card is going to beat the beat time shenanigans, you are correct. It would be Requiem to give me... What? 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 Alright, please place skull bets here. All bets are now to be placed. Where do you think this one lands? Tangible. In the endless spire, there lives a tangible human skull that refuses to be buried. Its reverberations. Do I have like a lawnmower? That'd be great if I had the lawnmower. The lawnmower is my favorite part of the of the human tangible human skull. All right, looks like bets are off. I see a lot in. I see our our our, our good old thirteen twelves are are in. That's great. Uh, a plus. Um, one dollar bobs in. All right, let's hit the button. You mill the heart. Thirteen. No, sorry, nothing. Like Ten. Uh, let's say 10, 1350, no. 1053, anybody close to that? Oh, God, 1069. Malamet off by three. Malamet, congratulations on the on the victory at 1050. Um, That's a real good shot. 
Congratulations. The 1069's also close, obviously. Have I been here before? All right, let's go spend 900 gold, shall we? <laughs> Malamed, thank you very much for gifting out a sub to, sub to Grums McGuff. All right, let's uh, let's up a, a goblet. Let's go spend some cash. Make a power. Hmm. I don't think we have powers that aren't innate. What's Requiem a reference to, anyway? Uh, it's a JoJo's reference like the others. Um, so, like, Threaten here is a JoJo's Part 3 reference. This is a Part 5 reference. Um, I don't think we innate Requiem. I, we don't have the energy for it. We definitely get pellets. We definitely upgrade the Whetstone. We definitely remove a Defend. Panache? Wait. Wait a minute. Wait. Bombs? Yeah, we also had a diamond. Yeah, yeah, the diamond's a breakable one. But yeah, the, the Requiem is the, 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 it's the stand arrow. Which is part of part four forward. Jab upgrade and the threatened upgrade. And then let's grab like Dex Potion, Flex Potion. Call it good. We're now down to 30 gold. That means we had the right amount of money if we ended up 30. So, Panache, Embrace, Embrace, From Nothing. Then while the from, from Nothing is up, we do the Goblets. Brass Magnet. Soul Bash. Jab. 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 Shatter Amethyst. Alright then. And we have the Gem Polish. The Gem Polish making these infinites really cool. Also, Panache is just like... Dang cool to have. All right, got through that in almost one turn. Thank you. Hold the fuck up.
This means I draw one million when I... What if Mill is draw? Take a couple points of damage to start here. Okay, and then we got Goblet. Goblet. Looks like we overdrew, so. <laughs> Billy's draw. Now my deck gets filled up with hot garbage. But we're intangible. Oh, you're right. I should have flex potion and then like let the pellets clear it. I didn't even think about that. All right. We're already weak and vuln, so Reaper's Curse. God, we draw five off that card. Dig. All right, then we draw five. Then we get the goblet. Then we jab. What is this about mill being draw? I had a power in my deck that says... Cards that have cost one or less gain Ricochet. And Ricochet is when it would be milled, add it to your hand. Uh, every one of our cards in our deck says junk like this. Jab. Jab. Okay, we hit the... We hit Invincible. Oh my god, we're at 155 after turn two. I'm gonna end this at full health. Easy, it's not even gonna be close. Ora, ora, ora! Yeah! <laughs> Uh, that is not lethal. Wait, no. 30x7. Good night, heart. What a fun class. 
I'm glad we got to do some gem stuff, and this tells me that gem stuff must be really powerful, because there's no, like, orb limit. You can just keep building them. They, they, they wear off, they have a turn limit, you know, but, like, damn. Aurora. Oh, that's ending. Chomp. Tangible. Well, damn. This is high up there. This this is this is hoofa uh, sixteen twenty eight. Very happy with this one. Definitely one of the yeah. I'm 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 impressed with this one on so many different levels. Like the the art styling, not just the art styling, the detailing. When I use the magnet, the attack is chuck a magnet, right? Like. Do I have the... Is there not the... Okay. Alright. Thank you. Yeah, like, like, all the little animations were super strong. Um... Like, all the art is really fun and, and, and such. You know, the, the shovel that appears when you play Dig, the magnet that gets thrown when you play the magnet. Um, the jokes in the... The jokes... On top of being like just really cute stuff. Like. It's super cool. Like this anti fact. Ooh, this is reject the grail. Anyway, on Nate. Yeah. So that that was that was very cute. But the cards are little grails. They have a base. Yeah. So, anyway, that is going to be uh, it for today. Thank you all for joining. I know this one went uh, finished early, but that's all right. I'm going to go ahead and send you all over to uh, to Doc here. He's doing uh, he's doing Raid Shadow Legends, but he's doing it in a very Doc way that I think you'll enjoy, where he's just talking about the armor for four hours or something. Three hours? Hours. He's just talking about the armor. So, I think you'll enjoy it. So, uh, other than that... Um, if you want to catch more, you can always follow, see when I go live. Um, Mega Man Battle Network 3 continues um, on Sunday. Uh, what else is going on? Uh, Dragon Warrior Wednesdays. All the all the usual things are going on. So, so yeah, thank you all for joining. Hope you had a fun time. I know we, we started early and went a little short, but damn if we didn't find a really cool mod. So thank you all for joining. Good night, everybody.